Hi all, my name is Natasha and today we are going to talk about perfumery. Surprise, surprise, I know there's a quite, a, quite a break between my last video and this one and I apologize for that. I'll be trying to, to, to make videos more often. This one is going to be a tech video. I know, I, I know I'm a small blogger in a U English speaking YouTube, but I'm still hoping that if you happen to be a blogger and you happen to watch my video, you jump on and make your own version of the video. And the topic is my first, my first, you were my first means perfumes that got that introduced me to a specific note that made me made me to be interested in the note and made me to be looking for more perfumes with the note so let's begin let's begin and i'm putting my remote away and um, the first one that i want to introduce to you and show to you is in la Femme intense from miller harris quite known english english brand and La Femme Intense introduced me to oud and um, incense, but mostly oud. I wasn't familiar with this note before. And it was just love from the first, first sniff. <laughs> I don't know how to call it. Anyways, it's a beautiful, beautiful scent, beautiful perfume. And even though I've, I've tried many other oud perfumes afterwards, I still think that this one is amazing. I love it. I wear it. And um, I, it just survived so many, so many declutterings, which I was doing. It just, it just stays with me and it's going to stay with me. Beautiful scent, balsamic, spicy, warm. Um, it has incense. It has oud. It's, it's a um, Middle Eastern kind of direction but not too Middle Eastern I would say it it's kind it's more of a European version of Middle Eastern frag beautiful if you haven't tried yet you probably should and let's move to the next one and it's just looking at me I can't I can't just I can't I cannot do not talk about this one it's gardenia for Andy Tower absolutely talented perfumer from Switzerland. I love the house. I have a, I have a few bottles from him. And this one was my first one. Uh, basically, I or um, there there were times when the Andy Tower was sending was sh was shipping um to North America, not anymore by the way. Uh, but uh, back then I was able to order every every um sample I could find on his site and out of all of them I chose Gardenia Sota de Luna beautiful Gardenia absolutely amazing stunning best Gardenia ever it's creamy it's almost buttery it has mm, it's introducing it give it it's giving you every possible aspect of Gardenia if you are a fan of Gardenia note as I am after this one you should try it I didn't find anything better than this, than this one. Just best gardenia ever. And um, almost feeling that I'm going to stop my search and just announce this one as the best one. Let's uh, move to another one. And this one is with me for many, many years. I know it's discontinued and the, the perfume called Magnifique from Lancome. And when I was using it, I definitely didn't know that I like saffron. No, I only knew it after I got more into perfumery and found out, oh, this has rose and saffron and I like saffron because saffron is quite prominent in this perfume. And um, you have no idea how many compliments I got on this one and, and how many tears I dropped when it was discontinued that's a, that's a big loss it's still available you can find it you can find it and buy it and uh, don't hesitate to buy edt this one is edp but i have edt and i compare them they are 99.9 percent .9 identical so if you find edt for a reasonable price go get it and don't look for edp no there's EDPs are like twice more expensive and I don't see any reason for overpay if they're so similar almost identical so I do have EDT 
my backup and uh, I feel I feel good about it let's move to the next one and what we see here it's it's a uh, fills the algorithm how to read it oh my god I don't know French do you guys know French I'm not um, um I don't know it's it's a it's a lady lady on hills lady on spikes I don't really know how to translate it but this one is from Serge Tan's very well known frag and uh, this one introduced me to the note and by the way I'm a huge fan of Serge Lutan's I have 28 bottles kill me but I will never never ever sell them so this one introduced me to the no note of an incense even though this note is not very strong in this frag but but it's still very noticeable I do have more incense perfumes now and with way more noticeable incense note but this one just introduced me to the note made me interested made me to understand that I like the note what a waste what a waste to spray this just like this in the air discontinued or maybe it's not discontinued maybe it just moved to a more expensive more expensive line I think it did but anyways, this one is the old one and I love it. I love it and I cherish it. And surprise, surprise, another Serge Lutens. Wow, how could I do it to you? But but I couldn't do not talk about this, this one, RB. Serge Lutens, as I said, this one introduced me to dried, dried fruits. And uh, since then, I love, I love this sweetness. And it it almost it almost makes me hungry and wanting to eat. This is just so yummy. Absolutely, it's spicy and um, dry, fruity and sweet and gourmand, but not, but not, but not too sweet. You know, it just it just uh, right. And um, actually, this one was. Mm, it was my first step into niche perfumery and um, it will never it will never leave my house love it love it and um, if you didn't try Arby and you like sweet um, try fruity perfumes try this one absolutely stunning 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 I'm starting to feel I'm starting to feel a little goofy I hope you're ready for that and another one that I wanted to show to you today it's Helotrope, Helotrope from Etra this one despite being called Helotrope it's about almonds if you are into almonds note and you are not quite ready for acidic version of almond try this one it's sweet almost gourmand almond it it's Helotrope or um, almond helotrop makes make, makes it sweeter and powdery and I love it it's very comforting it's very nice it's very cute and um, as you can see it's an old bottle before they made before before they did the rebranding I'm very happy to have it let's talk about another discontinued frag I'm sorry yes that's I'm old enough to to love discontinued frag frags, and this one is Yves Saint Laurent from. Uh, did they say from? No, it's Yves Saint Laurent, and the frag called vice versa. And when I tried first, I had no idea that I'm in love with note with note of tuberose, and apparently I was. I always was. Tuberose here is not. Uh, how do I call it it's not sharp it's not extra sexy no it's not it just it's just happy it's young it's positive this is all what I was when I was my, in my 20s and and after not having this frag for 15 years I went on eBay and I got this bottle partial and I'm so happy about it. it was like it was 
it was almost like a union with my youth. I'm still pretty young. Okay. Next one is Juliet has a gun. Hmm. Wow. This one uh, made me to like a note of licorice, which I hated. Hated. I couldn't stand any perfumes from Lalita Limpica, but um, and I thought, okay, it's a lost case. But no, no, I was lucky to meet this, this one, and and I like it. It's nice and warm. It's creamy and it's dense. It's not dancing. It's dense. And it's just beautiful frag. If uh, and now I know that I don't hate the note. Okay, next one is going to be um, this beauty. Atelier des Ors, and the frag is called Iris. Iris Fav. Stunning, stunning. Oriental Iris. It's. Almost, it smells almost like gardenia, you know, it, it just have this vibe for me. And I love, I, I, I'm totally in love with this um, frag. I did know more, I did know Iris um, perfumes before this one, but, but I wasn't in love, you know, I wasn't in love with the note. This one just made me to fall in love and I'm still in love let's move to the next one and this is going to be jasmine i have obviously a new more perfumes with jasmine yes but this one is so unique this is so unique that oh, i think my spray is kind of broken which is unfortunate but this is martian martian jasmine unique in a in every possible way and uh, I'm not a fan of all the um, of all the uh, different versions of uh, Alien I stick to the original and it's absolutely mm, as I said unique unique I can't use any other word for this one unique Jasmine 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 and speaking of uniqueness I have to talk about musk note and this one is from Narcissa Rodriguez for her and you probably know that masks from this house are very mm, you can't you, you if, if you smell one if you smell one of these uh, perfumes you will know this is Rodriguez um, Narcissus mask it's so um it's very um it how i don't know i'm losing words i'm sorry i'm my apologies but um uh, the mask of this house is kind of different from all other masks you can find different types of types of masks on, on the market um cleaner more dirty more animalic but this one is just very unique and it made me to fall in love with the note still like it but at some point i just overused it and i got tired of this um, type of mask and i'm not using i'm not wearing it very often recently let's talk about amber the fragrance that got me um, hooked to amber was elisab um, number three amber and i absolutely love it it's beautiful woody amber i do have more ambers now even and ambers that i like better but this one is still in my heart let's get to two more frags from from uh, serge lutens and first one of them is shergi and this one made me to fall in love with the note of um, tobacco I love it. It's absolutely 
I keep saying absolutely, but uh, what I can, what can I do? Um, it's a standing, standing frog. Um, it's, it's very, it's very dense. It's very um, buttery. It's very. Um, sensual fragrance and tobacco note in here is exactly how I want this note to smell beautiful another one is the five o'clock or gingerbread whatever my French is my French is not very good actually it's uh, doesn't exist my dogs again and and this one made me to fall in love with the note of uh, ginger. It's very happy, celebrative kind of fragrance that makes me to think about uh, Christmas. What about you? If you know the frag, what do you, what do you associate the fra this fragrance with? I would be very interesting to hear about it. And we are moving in. We are moving to not of to the note of lily. Lily can be very, very sharp and sometimes even unbearable for many people. But if we're talking about Serge Lutens, La Verge, La Verge de Fer, you are talking about lily that flies, lily that has wings. The You, I think this the point of this fragrance is not how it smells on you, but in how it smells around you. You just finding yourself in a in a cloud of beautiful, beautiful smell, and people notice it. It's very, uh, it has a very long, uh, long silage. And we are moving to the last, no? Yes, no, no, not the last, not the last one. We still have two fragrance to talk, fragrances to talk about, and this is vanilla. I just recently got it, and I made, it made me fall in love finally with a note of vanilla. I, I'm not a big fan of this note. No, at least I wasn't until I found this gem, and it's Anigutal Vanille Vanille Chernel. Beautiful, beautiful, not gourmand vanille uh, on a woody base. Very elegant, not too sweet, not too cloning. Stunning, stunning vanilla. Love it. Oh my God! If I if I find a bottle of it, I'm just going to grab it and run. I only have like 25 mil. And the last fragrance is going to talk about a note of vetiver. It's another and it's another note that I that I just love in every possible way, in every possible interpretation, except the very except the very dry ones like Anker Noir from Lalique. I don't like this one. I know there are many people who are fans of Anker Noir, but not me. Not on me at least. And this is this one is from um, at at the uh, that liver Ranch and it's called Fat Electrician. For me, it's very, um, very happy, slightly, slightly buttery, vetiver, vetiver note, and oh my god, I'm going to smell horrible after spraying everything on me. It's a beautiful, beautiful vetiver. I do have more frags with vetiver, obviously, since it's one of my favorite notes. But this one still still stays one of the ones that I want to use and using. Well, I think I talked about uh, all the perfumes that I wanted to talk to you about. And again, I'll I'll remind you if you're not subscribe to my channel, please, subs please subscribe, likes, dislikes, if you like, uh, comments are always welcome, and if you're a blogger, please 
make your version of the video. I'll be very, very pleased to see it, to watch it. Thank you and have a great night and wonderful weekend.